Check it out, guys. The tank is ready for battle. Ready to go to war tomorrow, do some damage. No, I'm just kidding. We're just gonna be installing trim, so it's not that dramatic. But I did get a new ladder rack, so that looks a lot better. Got my black wind doors, that looks a lot better. And I know when it comes to putting together one of these work trucks, it's not about looks, I get it. But it's just like marriage, it doesn't hurt if she's pretty. So we're gonna go with it. And the black wind doors, it really, really just sets it off. This used to be white. It was a mistake on ARE's part. They shipped the wrong part. I ordered this black originally and they just now got these to me. So I'm really happy with those. And they look like a window. They really do. It looks like a limousine tinted window, but it's not because if you open it up, you can see it's just a piece of aluminum here. So I really like that. So here's a site you really will never see. It's the truck empty. So check this out. Then I'll go ahead and open up this box too. That's where the cut hub stays. It's not in there right now either because I actually drove up to Wichita Falls, Texas and dropped this thing off because nobody here in the Dallas area wanted my money when it came to this stuff. I was ready to spend like, I had like $6,000 that I had set aside for doing all this that I've been saving and they didn't want it. And thankfully I found a place up in Wichita Falls that was willing to do the work and take my money. So, but it actually worked out really good because all of this I purchased and got installed for about half the price of what I was getting quoted here in the Dallas area. So I really came out good on that one. I had to drive four hours, but to save that much money is really, really worth it. So I'm gonna load this thing up, but I'll show you guys the ladder rack. I'll climb up there and uh, give you a look at that and I'll throw up a ladder on here. I'm pretty excited to start using this thing because to get gear and tools out of here and up there, it's really just utilizing wasted space because all on top of this camper shell is basically a big platform now where I can put you know, four by eight sheets, because this thing is wide enough to carry that. And I could put ladders, my extension ladders that never fit in the eight foot bed. My 10 foot ladders can go strapped up there. So this is a really, really, really nice upgrade. And I'm really looking forward to what I'm gonna be doing out of this truck. So here's a look at the rack up close, and it's called an alu rack. You can see it right there. It's a eight foot long by just over four foot wide. So if you did want to put some kind of sheet goods up there, you could. And it's made by this company, Prime Design. And I have no affiliation with them other than the fact that I purchased one of their racks. And this thing is mounted on a Yakima track system. You can see right there that black track and it's bolted directly onto that. I had the option to just bolt the rack directly to the shell, but I didn't really want to do that because I like having options. If I want to take it off and mount another Yakima system up here, I'm able to do that. And the rack consists of six of these aluminum cross members and all stainless hardware. So we don't have to worry about any rust issues. And then the first, I guess, cross member, if you will, is this roller on bearings. So this thing will roll as you push your ladder up you can just roll it on this and then let it fall onto these cross members. So I haven't actually put a ladder up on here yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on camera and just put the first ladder up and let you guys see how it works because I'm pretty, pretty pumped. You know, it's, it's funny the things that you get excited about as you, uh, I guess, get older and what you're interested in kind of changes, but I never thought I'd be happy to be putting a ladder on top of a truck, but here we go. And Ashley's pulling out of here because she doesn't want the ladder to fall on her Suburban. No, I'm just kidding. She's, she's going to the store. So we'll start with this eight footer right here. Pretty common ladder that we use. And we'll fill this bearing right here on this roller. That's pretty smooth right there. You can hear that bumping sound. That's actually the rivets where the rung is installed onto the frame of the ladder. Those are bumping there. But if those weren't there, the sucker would be super smooth. So we'll put it right up there. That's super convenient. This is such a game changer to get these out of the bed of the truck and up there out of the way. This is, I, I should have done this a long time ago. I can't believe I worked with that, that Tana cover, that lid for so long. Now having this and having this, it's like, what was I even thinking? 
So up next, we're gonna do my 27 foot extension ladder. I think this thing is nine foot when it's folded up like this, but it extends out to 27 foot. So with that, let's go ahead and put it on the roller and see how it does. Oh, that is just too smooth. You know, when I bought this rack, I didn't even know I had that roller. I was just like, oh, that rack looks cool. That'll work. And that's a huge plus. Look how smooth that is. It's gonna make getting these things on and off of here super easy. So I'll push it up against the side, push it, drop it down. So there's that extension ladder. I could stack my other one on top of it or just put it up against the other side because this thing's already kind of stacked up. As long as I strap this stuff up safely, I can stack super high. I've seen like painters that are in vans with stacks of ladders, like literally like four foot of extension ladders stacked up. So as long as they're safe, I mean, same thing here. This should be good to go to stack these things up pretty high. So we'll pull it off and then I'll try my 10 foot ladder got two of those as well. So this is my 10 footer right here. This is my biggest A-frame ladder. We'll throw this one up there. Should be similar to the eight. Super easy for the 10 as well. So pretty sweet ladder rack overall for a first impression with this alu rack. I'll let you guys know how it holds up over time durability and whatnot but i really don't see any issues arising with it as long as i check the bolts make sure all the bolts are tightened up from time to time and that they're not rattling off i think i should be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and load this truck back up but before i do i'll show you guys the garage and kind of the pack out setup that we have now every tool that we would need for any job is now inside one of these pack out boxes and I'll go through these in detail in another video, but just to give you the quick rundown, this stack right here is all power tools. This stack right here is all uh, fasteners, bits, and miscellaneous things that we would need. And then this stack right here is completely dedicated to painting. And uh, well, this one has adhesive in it, which really isn't part of painting, but these tubes right here, anything to do with the caulking gun and painting is pretty much in these boxes. These little mid-sized boxes are perfect for caulking tubes. They stand up, everything closes, and you can fit two boxes of caulking inside one of these little mid-sized toolboxes here. So like I said, I'll go through all of this one day, but that's like a quick rundown. And all of these three, the reason I'm talking about this is because all of these will almost fit in the back seat. So let me go over here and open the door. So these things will almost fit back here but I really need to take this back seat out. So I'm still contemplating whether or not I want to do that to gain this extra like foot of space right here. There's actually a big chunk of space that could be utilized for the pack outs. And if I could have all the pack outs back here, I got the cut hub right here in this little toolbox. I mean, I will be super, super efficient because it'd be nice not to have the pack outs in the bed back there rolling around. So I'm still contemplating that and we'll see what happens. But other than that, everything is coming along with the setup on this truck. John has taken this cut hub right here. He's gonna put it in the other truck. I'm gonna order the other half of this cut hub setup tomorrow so I can have, we can both be running cut hub. We can completely get rid, well not get rid, but retire our DeWalt stands over there that we use sometimes. Cause John still has to use those when he's doing a job by himself. And I'm using this because I'm not going back to those, so sorry, John. All right, guys, there you have it. There's a quick look at the truck and how I've got it set up right now. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I like making these kind of videos because I like to watch these kind of videos and get ideas for what I'm gonna set up, whether it's a work vehicle or a miter saw station or just anything that's gonna help me in my job as a contractor. So let me know if you have any questions about any of these items, if I like working out of this thing. I mean, I think I've been clear on that. I really like it. I've said in the past that working out of a truck is not for everyone as a contractor. It's probably not ideal for all trades, but I make it work because I like working out of it. It's comfortable. 
it looks good and I'm going to be with her for a long time. So like I said, it's just like marriage. No, I'm just kidding. I'm done with these corny jokes, guys. I'm going to, I got to get this stuff put in. The sun is starting to go down and uh, got to get moving. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.